the train law at present. I'm now calling uh, Senator Batano of Pangasinan. <laughs> According to Edward G. 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 Logo, tax lawyer said, train will relatively increases the tax on personal income, the state, and the nation. However, it also increases the tax on certain passive incomes, documents such as documentary stock, as well as excise tax on petroleum products, minerals, automobiles, and cigarettes. The train law also, also imposes new taxes in the form of excise tax on sweetened beverages and non-essential services, such as invasive cosmetic procedures, and removes the tax exemption of lotto and other PCS or winnings amount, um, amounting more than 10,000 pesos. So here are the problems that I would like to present. So first, the donor tax. The donor tax rate was also amended to a single rate of 6%. Senator Ambrosio, something to clarify for Senator Macano. Please introduce yourself and the word to the place of origin. Senator Dresley from Davao, proceed. 
Great also cites a safeguard provision that would suspend the increase of the buy for oil ex exceeds $80 per barrel. It also grants the Department of Finance or DOF the power of required fuel making in order to combat the smoking. Yes. According to Benjamin Rocco, uh, my name is Nicole, uh, Senator Se Nicole Austria. Uh, I'm delighted. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you are now speaking that you are in Negros Occidental. Uh, according to Benjamin Rocco, suspending the trade law will only create more harm than good. Mainly because it would only upset revenue projections as the Bureau of, Bureau of Internal Revenue and the Bureau of Customs are already geared toward collecting taxes above, uh, based on the loss provision. According to what Senator De Ambrosio said, under the trade law, a sweetened beverage tax of six pesos per little will be levied on drinks using artificial sweeteners, drinks, and high fructose corn syrup will be imposed for petroleum products, 12 pesos per liter. The bill includes all kinds of milk. So the increase of 12 pesos is not only focuses on petroleum, but in other beverage and other necessity needs of our fellow countrymen. So in an instant, coffee is also exempted from the tax. That's it among the most controlled food items for the entire Filipino products. So now let's see the benefits of the trade law. So the the the, the trade law now naga benefit in the education, healthcare, and the infrastructure. So first, the education it aims to achieve 100 percent enrollment and completion rights. Build 113,553 more classrooms and hire 181,980 more teachers between 2017 and 2020. So the package is for the salary of the teachers, the items, their training, and the learning resources, the ICT packages, and the science and math equipment workshops and laboratories and PBLs, tools and equipment. In the healthcare, they they provide better service facilities. So excuse me, Ms. Senator. So the train bill has target revenue of 120 million. 70% of which would go to military services, which will be go in the build build program or other infrastructure, including military infrastructure. So the remaining 30% will go to education. So how can you say that all of this are going to benefit all the education staff, the health staff, the housing and other social activities that would like our yung gagawin ng ating presidente, yung baga, kung yung 70% nga napupunta sa bill program which is the pain low. So how can you say that 120 million will be will be collected for other sa ating mga kababayan if we don't even have those kind of amount. So we're going to bury, bury ourselves na naman para umutang That's sa world That's why bank. we have the train law. For example, um, um, ang money na, na, na makokollect is for the projects and that is the investments na mapupunta doon. And that is the powerhouse na ang budget na mapupunta doon ay mapupunta sa mga budget. At nakikita namin natin na ngayon na uh, in lahat ng state universities or state na eskulahan ay 100% uh, yung free yung tuition fee nila at maraming maraming estudyante ang makaka-benefit doon. Actually, Ms. Nicole Perlas, Priya. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Senator Pinkin Pesha. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Over 1 million pesos is raised from infamous road users that have been spent legally by the road for Pano. Pano pa rin nasisigurado na kung tayo sa mga programs ng buildings if hindi ginagamit na
Ano yung sa minis ni Nikos? Ano yung Nikos? Ano yung Nikos? So, 
pinilit ko sa ikat, ma ma magiging mahal ang mga presyo ng kakanin, sa, sa pag-budget mo na yan. Do you agree that? No, no sir. Because even, no, let's say, the regular or even kung ikaw, construction worker ka, at nag-earn ka ng 150 pesos per day, how can you, paano mo mapapakasya sa isang araw yung 150 pesos the, the cost of living in Manila is very high. Because of the higher prices, because of interest. Because yes, of sir. Interest. Well, that's why there was higher. Um, hindi implement ng pay because they they would like to offer jobs through the building program. So, mag-offer yeah, 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 of course, they will offer jobs, but it is only underpaid. So, are you already saving 150 a day? Yes, sir. So, hindi ka na nakatanggap no. ng four piece pang Yes, sir. Because not of all people can read, write, because a lot of them will have the right of education. Okay, clarification. 150 yung income niya. Hindi siya nakatanggap ng four piece na kinukulitan niyo sa tax. Hindi ba siya, hindi naman siya yung recipient? Four piece. First, 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 Oh, register ka, hindi ka pala nakaparegister. How can I register if I don't know how to write, read, and play like that? That's why there is a free education. That's why there is a free education. Because three of them are speaking at the same time. How can I understand that part? sabi mo, kaya halimbawa na 150 yung income. Hindi ba, hindi ka po hindi, kasi ang mahal-mahal na ng pagkain. Kaya hindi ka pala recipient ng four keys na yung kinulit-ulit na ng buwis kung bakit nag-25% increase, isa yung dyan ang programa ng four keys, hindi ka nakatanggap ng four keys? Sir, let's say, sir, I'm na pinanganak ko ng way back 15 years ago, or 40 years ago. How can I avail four keys if Four pieces have been approved for almost six years ago. Lang. So, how about that? Ang punto yan, recipient ka ba ng four pieces? Kasi ang detective na naman yung kamuto, it is a four pieces yan. Sabi mo kanina, hindi ka nag-register, hindi ka marunong sumulat. Yes, sir. Ang yung sinabi ko is from the Filipino structure that made the Bama Sanador. Like that. So, I'm going to... Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Sit for a while. Let us have a break. Okay. Senator Broda, you're not yet presented your own argument. Nandun, no? Walang walang... Walang nang bumuto sa'yo yung tao. Visited, please. You're now live via satellite. Walang ginagawa sa Senado eh. Walang dyan. Ano, ano? Sa sunod election, walang ka nang buto. Our district is the DOF and the Senator is John Vitran. There is a long-term solution in Italian to prevent further, further price increases in the future. With the revenues from train going to the infrastructures and social services, the Philippines is headed exactly where it needs to go, namely the path to development where more Filipinos will get jobs and enjoy better living conditions. Legislators responsible for train and then that this new tax measure pro people because it calls for lower income taxes for individuals. So how can you say that lower income taxes if the price of a single sardine right now is 30, 30 pesos? So 150 pesos times, I can only buy 105 tons of sardines a day. So or let's that's say, why you are saying that you have to manage your finance. So you, you should remember the price of some goods that will go up to the result of increase so you have to save and invest your extra day complete and spend less on non-essential goods. How can I sell? How can I sell non-essential goods if makain na yun ang pamilya yung inakuna ko? First, I know that you need to pay for workers is 250. Are you working? Are you working also? Yes. I'm changing my opinion.
kasi bumili tayo ngayon. Um, ano, ang ganda ng argument, kasi first reading pa naman ngayon, first argument pa naman ngayon. Pero magdi-decide na mamaya kayo kung kung ito ay ipagpatuloy natin sa second reading na i-reader ito. Okay? So, depende sa inyo yan. And we have to decide through Viva Voce. But before the decision, and of course, I would like to ask the rest of the senators who are not the proponents and who are also not the opponents. Uh, with this issue, the Senate Bill number 10761, that we have to repeal the present of the existing train law. So if you have any argument to present to us aside from the proponents in the government, the, the majority and the minority who are now the opposition, so any comment from the rest of the senators, if you have concern your own people, you are elected by the people, so help them. Yes, Senator oh, uh, Austin, can you introduce yourself and the place of origin? Good afternoon everyone, I'm Senator Donio, I'm from Butuan City. Butuan City. <laughs> <laughs> What's in Butuan? Butuan. I mean, say that you senators are only focusing on the downside of this country. Yeah. Sergeant at arms, please count the number of votes. 
We will please come forward to come so that we can decide. Now the time has come for us to decide if this existing law, because if we will decide, if we will decide to repeal this law, in the second reading we'll approve it for the next session before we pass this to the executive for the president to sign. If the president will sign 90 days after the signing of the president, this bill becomes the law of the land. If the president will veto, then it will again return to the House of Representatives for review. Shall we divide? Shall we divide? So, Pag Sinabing, do you want to repeal the train, train law? When you say yes, you want to repeal. When you say no, you don't want to repeal. Meaning you don't want to remove. You don't want to abolish this law. Okay? Shall we? Now, divide us. Who are in favor? Who are in favor of Senate Bill number 10-1761 that we will repeal the existing law? And that is the train law. One.